Welcome to the University College and uh, we're talking with Des and Judith at an art exhibition that's taking place here today. Fascinating because um, you're the student, you're the teacher, Des, and, but you don't in the dim classes, so that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Let me start with the student. I mean, this is fantastic work. This is a, one of those classes you do well, outside of hours, it's an evening class, that sort of thing. Uh, mine's the afternoon oh, class, yeah. yes. So, you just decide one day you would like to take up art? Uh, I have done art in the past uh -huh. and when I saw Deborah had a class in the afternoon I went along to get going again really because with working I haven't done anything for a while. So did you learn a lot or did you just experiment? How did uh, it go? I, I learned a lot, yes. She's got good ideas and she brought things along to inspire you to try different media and different I ideas, you know, outside the box, mm -hmm. away from what I normally would have done. And, and Des, you teach. Now, how interesting is that when you, you must get a random selection of people turning up at the beginning of the year? Oh, by the way, I should mention right now the next course is going to start in September, isn't it? So Absolutely. people can start looking online and get all the information. Yeah, about yeah enroll now. Yeah, yes, enroll right, right now. But anyway, so are people to turn up? Quite an eclectic lot, I should imagine. Yes, I, I never know who's going to turn up, but usually, because I do an evening yeah. to our coach, I guess a lot of professional people, oh. like uh, well, doctors, uh, nurses, um, uh, finance people, they just like to have a change from their normal room routine of life and have a go, and it's so relaxing for them. So, do they have express themselves, or do you show them what to do? Well, I mean, how's it work? <coughs> oh, yeah. It's so sort of okay. subjective. Isn't it? Um, no experience required. Right. I do a stage-by-stage -stage, uh, demonstration. So I start off with uh, the first bit of a painting and they all copy that. And then we go on to the next bit of it and they copy that. And so it's stage-by-stage. Stage. Right. Uh, I do that for about six or eight weeks. Different subjects, so they'll have a portrait to do, they'll have a, a dog to do. <laughs> Uh, a robin. But they all find their own styles, do they? Basically? Well, it frightens them a bit to start with, but uh, they soon get the hang of it and they start to realise exactly how to go about doing a watercolour. And they can have a go themselves at home and they, they do have a go, yeah. which I, I, I do encourage them to do that because that's the only way they can improve. But if you look at some of these, if you come and have a look at this exhibition, I, I mean, I am impressed by some of the work of my students <laughs> on display now you know it looks and I think yes he's got it or he's got it you know and it worked well okay well, uh, Judith, I should be proud of it mm -hmm. uh, Judith, did you it glow did you get bigger what were you doing or did you have a certain well, way you were doing it in the first place or what? Uh, well I have done a fair bit of art but mainly watercolor mm -hmm. and with Deborah we did paper tearing ink um, the use of water to mix colours, uh, quite she a number of things. Bit, yeah. Yes, she brings something along and a few ideas, and you worked on that. Yes. Great. Well, as I said, it's time now to because obviously the, all the courses start in September, isn't it? Sort of thing. So it's mm. around the corner. You recommend it? I do indeed. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> but I'm sure uh, uh, everyone should come and see this exhibition. It's on all week. Yeah. And I don't, I'm not sure what times it's on to, 10 to 4 o'clock. And they should all come and have a look at some of the people who've started from scratch. And some people have been coming for a few years on the courses because they, they get to like it and get in the routine of doing it.